Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are having an amazing day today. I am trying to get myself pumped up for this video because I have been <laughs> dreading it. <laughs> for being completely honest, I've been dreading it. I have been um, doing everything I can to put this off and it is just time to tackle it and get it done. I know once it's done, it's gonna feel so good. But the process, whew, the process. <laughs> We're gonna make the process fun though. Let's do this. Today we are going to be tackling my tiny pantry. So we have a small house in general, but our pantry is extra tiny. I'm gonna show it to you guys in a second and we're gonna tackle it, try to make it a somewhat organized tiny pantry, see what we can do. I ordered a few new products that I'm gonna share with you guys here in a second. No clue what we're gonna use, no clue what we're gonna do. We're just going in this blind and hoping to get something done. So hopefully this video will get you guys motivated to tackle an area in your house that you have been dreading or maybe even tackle your pantry like I'm doing. So get up, get moving with me, get something done in your house while I do this. Let's get motivated together. So like I said, I'm going to start off by sharing with you guys what I have. So I'm not sure what I'm going to use yet. What I do know that I will be using, or I think anyways, are these Chef's Paths food storage containers. I got two packages of the cereal storage container sets and one of this food storage container set. I will link these down below. I got them from Amazon. I also use them over here in this cabinet and I truly love them. So I am um, definitely excited to use those again. And then where I'm really unsure is when it comes to baskets because we have the affordable option over here and then the more pricey could return and get some money back but looks nicer option over here. So <laughs> I'm just not sure yet, but I have four of these Target Dollar Spot um, little round bins. These were $5 a piece. I got two of these from Target Dollar Spot. Again, $5 a piece. And then two of these, $5 a piece. So 40 bucks right there all together. Where these I got from Walmart. It comes in this pack of four, a large one, medium sized one, and two small ones. And these were in clearance for $5. So I actually have two of these two sets of these and so I spent ten dollars on eight bins here and I spent forty dollars on eight bins here so not sure which we're gonna go towards um I'm just gonna have to start going and see what I like when I go I do like the sound of getting the forty dollars back though you know <laughs> and then here I have um a little two-tiered um shelf organizer it's stackable or you can use it separate. I got this from Amazon. I will again link that below. I also have that in that cabinet over there and I love it. So now let me show you guys the pantry. Are you ready for this? I don't think you're ready to see how messy it is. <laughs> I've been putting it off and then knowing that I was gonna film this video eventually, I've just been throwing everything in there, not even caring how it looks. So here we go. First, you can see just how tiny it is. This is our little tiny pantry area, and I don't see a whole lot of um, tiny pantry organization on YouTube, so hopefully this will help some of you that have smaller pantries like I do. So this is the top. <laughs> Ignore this, by the way, I still have to paint this. I suck at finishing projects. I'll get there one day. And then here is the bottom. So this is what we're working with, a nice big unorganized mess. Not to mention it's also pretty hard to film in that area because it is against the wall, it's in the corner, it's just hard to get in there. But I really wanted to share this with you guys. Like I said, I don't see a lot of small pantry organization on here, so I'm hoping to be able to inspire some of you that may also have smaller pantries um, the best I can. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start off by taking everything out so that we can clean it before we start doing any organizing. start to dry Even when the sun begins to shine again Taking all the advice there is What did I get myself into? But really, how does someone's pantry get this messy? It's like what I'm really wondering. Oh, Lord. 
I have like 10 boxes of cereal here. I haven't even seen these boxes of cereal in like months, so they're all old, I'm sure. Turns out the way they do. I've been trying for so long, looking for someone who wants me to. I've heard every cliche there is, and none of them make sense. Some pretzel rods that I got thinking I was gonna be like a cute Pinterest mom and make pretzels with my kids at Christmas time. Christmas time. Looking back on how I used to be. I always thought the love was made for me. Oh well. This almond milk I got when the world was empty. <laughs> oh, I can't with myself. I can't. Did anyone else do that though? Like stock up on things like when COVID first happened because you weren't sure what was gonna happen. Like were we all gonna be locked in our house forever and never be able to leave? Very old. Expired August 2020. Literally have three boxes of Rice Krispie Treats. Four! Four boxes of Rice Krispie Treats. And this is why I'm organizing my pantry because I am so sick of wasting food. So sick of it. <laughs> We're gonna try to eliminate the waste. My mom got these candy canes for Brayden when we first moved into this house. Our very first Christmas here. We've been here for uh, three Christmases now. And these were from Brayden's second birthday party. He's four now. All I can think is like that TikTok sound, you know, that's like, oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 because that's how I feel going through this. It is nice and cleared out, so we're going to go ahead and vacuum these, scrub them down, and I actually just sent Floyd off to grab me some contact paper from the dollar store, I think that's what it's called, <laughs> to put in here, um, because you can just see they're kind of gross and like stained, and I would just rather cover that up. So I'm just taking my little hand vacuum and vacuuming everything down before I wipe it out because there were a ton of crumbs in here. I haven't actually gone through and cleaned this pantry since we moved in, so <laughs> this is definitely needed. Now for the paper that, like I said, my husband got from the Dollar Tree, I got two rolls of these and that was perfect. I actually had some left over, but I was not aiming to make this look perfect by any means. I am just getting it in there and covering up, you know, the bottom of these <laughs> drawers here. So I am just kind of lining it up and getting a measurement, not exact measurement, but a measurement and putting them in. And then I do have to put an extra piece in the back as well. But ultimately, for a dollar, I think this stuff is very easy to work with as long as you are, again, not about perfection. I mean, I'm sure you could even make this perfect if you really took your time with it, but I just didn't. <laughs> um, but it is very easy to work with, and it's only a dollar, and it definitely does the job. I've used this in other areas of my home as well, and I always just love the way it, you know, makes it look compared to what it looked before. Taking my hand All of those late nights in your So I had really no clue what direction I was going to go in with these, but I just started pouring the things into the containers that I knew were going to go in there. I knew I wanted to get my snacks in there, Pete and me eating some Chips Ahoy cookies while I do this. <laughs> <laughs> but and then I knew I wanted things like rolled oats my pancake mix all that stuff into these containers so I'm just going ahead and getting all these in and labeling them I truly love these containers you guys like I said you can get them right off of Amazon they work great they're so much more um, inexpensive than like if you go to Target and get theirs I know Walmart has inexpensive ones as well and I've had those in the past and they just aren't as great quality as these ones so I think they're worth the few extra dollars that I paid compared to if I were to go to Walmart and grab them there Just like my mama
fun part. Let's get to organizing. I'm starting with this drawer first because I knew what I wanted to do with this one. I'm making this our snack drawer. So, or our snack, you know, pull out thing. <laughs> Not a drawer. <laughs> but I'm using this bin that I actually had from the Dollar Tree because the larger bins from the Walmart kits that I showed you guys did not fit in here very well. So I'm just using this one from the Dollar Tree to put things like bags of chips or bags of cookies or whatever random little snacks we have like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and add in the longer, skinnier one from the Walmart kit as well as the two singular ones. And um, I am just making it work for us. So for the long one, my son's obsessed with Pringles. So I put all of the Pringles in the long one. That way they're just right there. They're easily accessible. He doesn't have to like go through all the snacks in the back to find them like we normally do. Everything's just so much more easily accessible this way and I love it so this front one here I put granola bars and like breakfast bars and then the one next to it I did all of our different gummies whether it was regular gummies or like fruit by the foot fruit roll-ups whatever they're called um things like that so also don't judge our snack area here okay I know we're not the most healthy never claim to be <laughs> You're not good enough, but you're all I need I take you places that you've never been I would give you the world if you let me try again Yeah, just give me one more chance I swear I'll try my best to always be there And I want you to And then again for this one I knew I wanted to use this bottom area here for our snacks that were in these containers because it's one of the larger ones in height and so I knew they would fit there well so that is just what I'm doing I'm putting all the snack containers that I'll have to put in like zip lock bags or bowls or whatever there and then the next two shelves are kind of more difficult for me because these ones are kind of like you know all the packages and stuff so I used this one for um like oatmeal and sides dinner sides or whatever ramen um easy like lunch things as well i used one of the little shelves back there to put the canned foods that are like again for lunch things so just different soups and things like that i don't know i was just trying to organize it the best way i could might not be pinterest worthy but it works for us and that is what is important when it comes to your home don't focus on making it look you know like what you see on pinterest <laughs> make it work for you and for your house your family So I've been struggling trying to find a way to organize my cans and I think that this is just the best I can do. I do have a small area to work with and so like doing the tiered can things won't work here um, because I always have a lot of cans in a small area. So I just kind of tried to like layer them on top of each other like in groups. So like diced tomatoes are together, tomato sauce together, everything like that. That way I can easily grab it and what's under is just the same thing. Um, that way I don't have to like go around looking for things necessarily. So I'm hoping that will work a little bit easier than what I've had it. It definitely looks a lot better. So there's that. The top cabinet I decided to put all of like our extra things back there, you know, extra flour, extra sugar, things like that. And then in front of it, I just have our cereal containers, which we have no cereal right now because literally all those boxes were old. So gonna have to fill those up. But moving on, I'm just gonna go ahead and give everything else a good wipe down now. You guys just saw all of the dust and dirty handprints on here. It desperately needed to be wiped down. And then I am taking a command hug and hanging my aprons inside of here like this. 
Um, I actually used to do this, but I used a Dollar Tree command hook before and it fell off. So <laughs> I used a regular command hook this time. And then I also ended up adding some extra measuring cups in there as well. But here is the before, you guys. Oh my goodness, it is such a difference. And here is the after. I was hoping to get to paint that uh, door there before the end of this video, but I did not get to that. So look for my Instagram post, holding myself accountable. It will be done for my Instagram post. <laughs> but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys got some motivation or inspiration or whatever you need to get something in your house done today. Thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!